Welcome back to Make Me A Fan. I'm the Jag. I'm Pete. And today we are doing another dealer's choice, if you will. It's kind of like wrestling roulette, but the encyclopedia made the decision. He made the choice for us, so encyclopedia. Yes, sir. We talked about this briefly yesterday. Yes, sir. This is yet another spin the wheel, make the deal. Can you please tell the people at home exactly what we're in for today? So we are gonna go ahead and spin the wheel and make the deal for 1993 and see Vader, Big All Van right. Vader versus Cactus Jack. Hell yeah, that sounds like it has all the makings of a fantastic match. But see, yesterday we watched Jake the Snake versus Sting, which also in theory, when you say 1992, sounds like it has all the makings of a really awesome match. Surfer Sting, Jake the Snake coming off of WWF. Yeah, and instead we ended up with a crappy glove and a bougie ending. So I'm hoping today goes a little bit better. So Encyclopedia. Yes, sir. Are you ready? I'm ready if you guys are ready. Are you ready? I need you to open up a new tab, go to the WWE Network, find WCW 1993, Halloween Havoc, watch the craptastic intro, and then watch them spin this wheel to choose the stipulation, and then we're gonna watch the match right about now. So we just finished the match, and I must say it was a hell of a lot better than yesterday. Oh, for sure. And it was entertaining, it was very entertaining. Some things seemed a little odd. First of all, the rules of the Texas death match were a little weird. If I get this correct, please yes. let me know if I got this wrong. Um, you have to pin, first of all, it's no rules, right? Yeah. No DQ anywhere in the arena, okay? You have to pin your opponent, mm -hmm. and once you pin the opponent, a 30 second rest period begins. And at the end of the 30 second rest period, you have 10 seconds to make it to your feet. Correct. So you said it was essentially a last man standing match. In modern day terms, we essentially call this a, a last man standing match, With which we will see on the 21st of March okay, at Santino Brothers oh, for the Santino Brothers Heavyweight Championship between Ray Rosas and, and Douglas James. James. Ironheart Douglas James, that's gonna be awesome. But I'm sorry, I wanna still get this right. The 30 second rest period is what's throwing me off. Why would anybody have a 30 second rest period? I don't understand that. I, it's, it's weird, like, cat with, you knocked him out, 10, set, 10 count, right? I, you pin him, 10 count. The, they were trying stuff. I guess. Yeah, clearly clearly we've figured out the rules. Instead of calling it a Texas death match, we just call it a last man standing. Now the match itself worked. I think it worked well, of course. Harley it's a Race. Brawl. Yeah. Harley Race is there in Vader's corner with his uh, look like top ramen mullet, right? Look like a bunch of noodles hanging back there. And at the end, of course, you know, Harley Race pulls out a, ca a taser and stun like, gun. Stun gun, I'm sorry. And I love those things, man. We, I ended up buying one as a kid. We, Did you really? Oh, and we read Sting each other. Oh, Would you really? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh my gosh. That's and a at lot the of, Audio Express. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of pain from what I hear. Uh, allegedly, it was just a nine volt battery in there. Oh, okay. Well, it still took out. Oh, it, it was. Trust me. I mean, it's not pleasant. It's it's, it's not something pleasant that you would like to do. But it mm. wasn't like you know getting the uh, the flying fish hooks yeah. in, into the chest. That's some next level stuff. I don't think I'd ever want to deal with. <laughs> Um, I think it'd be kind of cool to, to just to take it like willingly, like let's see what it feels like. But man, I would it, not. It's a jolt of electricity. It's not fun. Have you been hit with those? Oh, absolutely. You've been hit with the the, the, the flying cop, fish hooks? Yeah. The cop version, yeah. really? Yeah, because the actual taser facility is in Scottsdale, and okay. you can actually go through the you can go through the training for and it. And you guys at with it? Uh huh. Really? Yeah, flying fish hooks. Okay, the at, at the at the facility. Of not, course, yeah. Not, no, I, 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 thought I, I, I have not. I have not had the I'm gonna get you, bitch moment. Yeah. The cops, which that guy like that's one of my favorite gifts and it's already on screen yeah. and it's the guy with the cigarette and all this I'm gonna get you bitch and he got shot with the the, the fish hooks I'm telling you I thought you had a great story to tell oh, no, no, like, no, no. I just, I've been to the taser facility okay well damn because you know if my black ass got had a taser story you know what happened there <laughs> so I wasn't sure what you were doing but hey that's cool you felt that pain before I, it's not great it's no. not great I've heard stories, and I don't ever want to experience it, no. unless, of course, I'm working for Taser or working for well, yeah, I mean, LAPD. Like, or... Yeah, to, to get certified into using that, obviously that's something that you would have to go through. So going mm. through a defense background and some other stuff, you learn about these so things. So now you have a license to Tase? I don't. Oh. But I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like, bring that sucker out! At the, next, at the next GCW, and then bring your own weapon! <laughs> Yeah, we're just gonna flying fish. Okay, Brett. Yeah, is it okay? Is it okay if I bring a taser? Is that gonna be hardcore enough for Nick Gage? That'd be awesome. But okay, we're well, we we we've digressed. Yes. We started booking GCW matches. Yeah, bring this back, okay? Um, Cactus Jack looked great. Of course, he's juicing pretty much almost immediately. And Vader gets juice. Yeah, and Vader took off his mask like two seconds into the match. He he's hated like, that thing. Did he really? Oh yeah, he always hated that. That's oh. why he always take it off. Because I mean, think about it. It's over your nose. And yeah. You're already a big dude. It's already hard to breathe as big yeah, guys, yeah, yeah, you know, and yeah. you've got that shit on your face. Yeah, Yeah, I, I've never liked the, I mean, this mask was like a little bit more streamlined, you know, mm -hmm. um, than the other ones that I've seen, but he still was like 
Yeah, it's awesome. Wrestling, awesome. You know? And some stiff shots, of course, a lot of, I mean, look, people, there's some things that you just can't protect. There is a pretty clean chair shot to the head. Those uh, backdrops and things on the walk, on, on the, the entrance ramp, ramp. ramp. There's nothing, yeah, there's no giving that away. The freaking dive off the apron for a sunset flip, that just, P Cactus Jack, I'm sorry, Mick Foley has put his body through so much hell for our entertainment. That dude has the utmost, I have the utmost respect for Cactus Jack just because of who he is and what he's done for the business. Oh yeah, every time I see Mick, I always tell him I, I appreciate what he had to do and what he put himself through to get to that. Because these are some of the amazing Cactus Jack matches. Oh yeah, and this was like, I mean, forgive me, and I don't want to be rude, but nobody, I, I wasn't watching this. Yeah. When he came to WWE, of course, I was like, holy crap, who's this guy, you know? But he was in G G Germany and Japan, putting his body through all kinds of trash. And Jim Ross has been advocating him forever. So that's how he ended up getting into WWE, because at that point, Jim Ross was part of talent relations. Nice. And he kept going, you gotta see this Mick Foley guy, you gotta see this Mick Foley yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. And then eventually Vince cracked, but he said, you know what? I don't want to see his face, so that's why they came up with the mask. Why didn't they want to see his face? Because he was this horrible, disfigured mankind. So mm. again, you know, I mean, he's not a visually appealing guy. So anything that you could make him look even uglier and scarier or okay. perceived like that. Again, his first big feud was with The Undertaker. Which is awesome. Like, like you think about it, like, how else do you get introduced? Oh, I don't know, you just get thrown into like a six match series with The Undertaker that becomes career defining. Yes. At, at your first outset. Not to mention you get Paul Bearer with you, Uncle Paul. Right. Dude, that Percy was Pringle, PP3, if you will, which we just saw. Damn right, damn right. At Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. Look, people, this is a fantastic match. I'm glad the dealer the encyclopedia, chose this match. Not, not Nick Aldis, not, the, not, not, the no, not that deal. No. But cleanse the palate after yesterday's coal miners glove match. I appreciate you uh, cleansing the palate and clearing so, the So you're saying thing. we should never book a coal miners glove match? No. Check. Yes, no, I mean if we did it, I'd do it a different way. I wouldn't do it at all. I wouldn't do it at all, that was just trash. But I will say this match helped ease my pain. I mean, this has been kind of a random day. We won't talk about it on camera, but we saw actually three matches today. And uh, the first one was pretty damn bad. Right. I think the first two were pretty damn bad. So you've redeemed yourself a little bit, Encyclopedia. Yeah. Now, we're not keeping score on the dealer's choice or the wrestle, wrestling roulette. That's not up to you, okay? But um, when it comes to Vader versus Mick Foley, you made me a fan. Excellent, sir. Well. As you say, we probably have an interview or we probably have something else coming up, but either way, guys, there's gonna be new content tomorrow, 9 a.m. Hell yeah, wait, Pacific. Wait. That's right, wait, 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern. Eastern. Yeah. Oh, oh, my. We gotta get it right. I, I, I see, I don't even remember. After doing it for all these times, I still can't get it right. It's insane. See, huh? Every week, every day, yeah. every day. It's, I get it's, it wrong. it's insane. We're so consistent. I mean, every day at 9 a.m. and we we very. I don't think we've ever missed a day. I think we've had a couple of throwback days. But you know what? Every day at 9 a.m. you get quality entertainment from Make Me a Fan. So be sure to follow at Make Me a Fan 316 on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Ring the bell so you get notified of any and all new videos posted. And uh, I think that's it, Encyclopedia. You got anything to add? No, I think we'll see everybody tomorrow. Take care.